Hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be talking about the Stego Challenge Da Vinci. The description is, try to find out the secret flag which is hiding inside one of these pictures and learn the truth about Mona Lisa. Uh, this is a hack the box challenge, an easy one, but I think there's a lot of components in this so I, I wouldn't rate it easy myself. I had quite a bit of trouble with this, but it was a fun one, a good one to get started on. So let's start by downloading the actual file. Save our file and let's start unzipping it with an argument DaVinci. The password is going to be hack the box, which is the case for all of the hack the box challenges. And we immediately get three files. We get Mona Lisa.jpg, plans.jpg, and the password is a small name of the actor named Hanks.jpg. Let's take a look at all of these. So first, Mona Lisa. It's just a Mona Lisa. The plans of Da Vinci, and this dude with Tom on his face, uh, which is also the password, is the small name of the actor named Hanks. So this is probably going to be some sort of password, Tom. Um, so let's get started on that password. So whenever you get like a Stego challenge with uh, a password, my first thought is always Stack height, which is a tool that you can use to encrypt or get data out of uh, images. Um, with a password, so we're gonna do stack height extract dash p for password tom dash s uh, f for stego file and then the name of one of these files. So let's try Mona Lisa. Okay, nothing out of there. Plans, nothing out of there. Uh, and that one has some data. So we got some data in a secret message.txt. So let's Look at that. Hi, Filipos. This is my secret key for our folder. I use an encryption with, with 32 characters. No one will find it. Decrypt it. Right, so we get this key, which is some sort of an encryption. So uh, I'm going to put that in a file. Uh, let John go loose on it, see what comes out. And I'm going to be using Johnny. Because I really enjoy Johnny, um, so what I've, what I've done in the options, I've set my word list to be rock you. So now I'm going to open a password file. I'm going to go to my root, uh, root, challenges, stego, da Vinci, and hash.txt. Okay, so let's start this attack. Let's see if we find it. In the meanwhile, we can take a look at the other files. So, um, another, another thing I like to do on, on in, in, in these challenges is first of all do a strings on files, Let's see if we find anything. Some famous.zip, mona.jpg. Okay, so that's interesting. So, there's some other files apparently in there, uh, which we can take a look at with binwalk. So, um, binwalk on mona lisa.jpg. Let's see, okay, so we have a zip archive named famous.zip and a um, mona, mona.jpg. Let's uh, extract this so we can take a closer look at the actual files with dash e. Okay, so now we can go into Mona Lisa extracted. Okay, and we have this famous.zip, which is very interesting. Uh, all right, we need a password for that, which we currently don't have. Let's see if Johnny is done. Johnny has finished but hasn't found anything um, which is fine it was working earlier but that's fine let's uh, take a look at our hash and let's put it into crackstation see if crackstation has a solution for it crack station there we go I am not a robot. Oh, let's crack some hashes. All right, and it's found the hash immediately. Uh, it's just MD5, so I'm very curious as to why um, Johnny didn't find it. Although Johnny did something interesting where it said two hashes left, so I don't know what's up with that. But Crackstation found it, and we have a password, Leonardo. Oh, well, that's kind of convenient because we were just asked for a password. So let's unzip famous.zip. Oh, we need to go into here 
tons of famous zip with Leonardo, and that works. And we get Mona.jpg. So let's do an LS of that. All right, so we have a new, a new image. Um, all right, that's that's uh, that's cool. We still have another image here, um, plans.jpg that we didn't use yet. So let's uh, let's do as first a strings on Mona, and then go back to there because. I don't believe there would be an image if there's not none this. Uh, it just looks like a bunch of junk. Don't think there's anything in there. Let's see if there's anything in the plans.jpg. And immediately we find a YouTube link. Let's copy this address. Let's take a look at this YouTube link. Um, so okay, this is a Guernica a painting by um, Picasso, I think. In 3D, just a video was uploaded a while back, so it's not like really a part of the CTF or of the challenge shredder. But this word Guernica, we're gonna copy that. And um, honestly, I have no clue how you would have gotten to this uh, realization to use this word because I was stuck here for a very long time. But some of you guys in the comments, you um. That's what we're talking, and from here I got a hint that that would be the password for something. So right, we have a new password. So let's do a uh, another stack height uh, extract of this password. Let's use the file. Let's try it on the file we found it in. It didn't work. Let's try it in the file we just got. Uh, what was it? Mona. Yes. Okay, I found that data in there. That's cool. So ls, let's cat our key. That seems a lot like base64. Let's, let's see if that's the case. Base64 decode. Uh, another different base64 string. Base64 decode that again. And once more. And we have our flag. Hack the box Mona Lisa is dead. So that was it for this for this challenge. I really really enjoyed it. I didn't really like this part where you had to uh, get this word as a as a um, a password. Um, I think that maybe this was just a hint and not actually a thing you needed to do. And then uh, you should have cracked the password or like brute forced um, the stack height. But I'm not sure if that was the intended solution. If, if any of you guys know, please comment it below. Um, but that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you back in another one.